Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a ladder type digital to analog converter with the help of resistors. It is also called as r 2 r digital to analog converter. So how we can make it? Let's get started. So first we need to take 2 kilo ohm resistors. Take the 0.6 watt 2 kilo ohm resistors. Okay, so so this is your 2k resistor. Now right click on it and rotate it clockwise. Let's make it a bit bigger so that you can see it properly. Okay, now we need to copy it and paste it out. Okay, wait. So now you can see that we have two two K resistors. Now this is third resistor. Now we need to put the fourth one and this is fourth. So one, two, three and four. Okay now, now we have four 2K resistors. Now we need to put One K resistor, so we can just put uh, like uh, these two K resistors, and and we will just make them one K. like this and like this okay now what we need to do is take one more 2k resistor and connect it like that we also need to connect it with the ground like this then we need to take our dc voltmeter Okay, and we will put it at the output. Okay, now this is the ground and need to connect it with it. Okay, now we will test the first logic states and Okay, now connect it like that and that and that and that okay now either obviously these logic states needs to provide either 0 or 5 volts that is logic 0 and 1 but still we will see that either they can provide some logic or not yes they are providing they are providing okay so here we can see that we we got at uh, uh, like uh, uh, what's called as the now it is 0, 0, 0 and 0, okay, so so, so we will get 1, so again we, we will switch on one other, so we got around 0.94 volts, then we need to, okay, now we got 2.19 volts and now we got 4.69, so in this way we can uh, decrease our resistor. Uh, re resistance okay we can make some like this okay to get variable voltages like now you can see that although we are changing the digital inputs yet we are getting change in the analog voltage present on the output so we can make it some bit more low like this 2.81 and then 4.06 and then 4.37 so in this way we can get a lot a lot of voltages 
so hopefully you got this simple concept so thanks for visiting our channel